Okay, my name is Robert Llewellyn and I do, uh, I'm very involved in uh, trying to popularise, I suppose, uh, engineering, science, technology through television uh, and the media in general. And uh, I'm doing a talk here about, particularly, specifically about electric cars, which has been a, become a sort of a, an obsession that's grown out of my um, exposure to uh, the sort of extreme parts of the automotive industry. And, you know, when I first went, and went in electric cars, I was sort of very changed by that. Definitely a petrol head up to that point, so it was a, a big change. And um, what brings you to the Cheltenham Science Festival? Why do you think it's important? I mean, I think it's fantastic. I mean, the best example today is when you just see the queues of people coming into the talks. It, 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 there's so many kids, so that it's great to see that there are children interested because it's such an, um, it's such a been such a, uh, an important part of this country's history that's often ignored, particularly by the popular media. The fact that we've produced the most incredible scientists and engineers for hundreds of years that have transformed the world not always for the good, but very often for the good. And, uh, the, the, you know, the sort of popular tabloid approach to our culture is, you know, reality TV and singing and dancing and that, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> the fact that I'm bored senseless by it is irrelevant. But the fact that there are, there is still that interest and there are kids that are really interested. And I saw a, 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 just saw a girl uh, at the, um, she would have been 14, 15 year old girl, talking to the team that are doing the 1,000 mile an hour car, the Bloodhound supersonic car, and she was asking, she was really interested, she wasn't just going you know, she was absolutely locked onto it, she going does it go faster than if you fall off a cliff which is such a good, good question to which the engineer there said a bit faster, <laughs> like you know, so that and that's a project that I've been involved with as well. So those sort of extreme engineering projects are great, and that a lot of that has come out of working on. I did Scrappy Challenge on Channel Four for ten years, and Richard Noble, who is the sort of team leader of that project, was one of our judges many times, and he's just an extraordinary man, really inspiring. And um, so it's that it's that kind of interest that it's outside the kind of mainstream populist media and which makes it very very difficult thing to get on television. And it's a real struggle to get something that isn't isn't about people singing or cooking is quite hard. Brilliant. And can you tell us about um, what you're doing today at the festival? Yeah, I'm doing a talk. Well, I'm doing some interviews in an electric car. I'm driving some, some of the people who are appearing here in electric cars. I'm interviewing them in the car, which will be little videos that will be on the site, but also on a... a and I'm doing an online series about electric cars, which is also going to be on the telly probably next year. I'm only just hearing about that now. And... Um, and then I'm doing a, a, a talk with proper clever people uh, who know real th facts <laughs> and actual science <laughs> as opposed to pontificating about it with a vague knowledge, which is what I do, uh, th this evening at six o'clock. So that's, that's why I'm here to do that.